Art Walensky here, and I'm the Wired Geezer. Right now, I'm coming to you from within a video conference. If you haven't already been on a video conference since you've been in quarantine, and right now I'm going on about the fifth week, uh, it's about time for you to get on so that you can have some human contact, right? So I'm going to show you how you can get on, and you can get your Uncle George on, or your Uncle Horatio, or whoever, even if they're barely computer literate. All right. So here we go. I'm going to leave this meeting, start up my uh, web browser, and I'll be right with you. All right. So I'm back here. I've got my web browser started. We're going to go to meet.jit.si. And that takes us to the meeting page at jitsi.org. And you'll see in the middle of the screen, it says start a new meeting. Well, you can start a new meeting or you can join a meeting right there. But before we start or join a meeting, let's make sure our camera and our microphone are set up. Up here in the upper right hand corner are the settings, the little settings wheel. We click on it. The first time I click on it, it's going to try to get us to sign in with Google or Microsoft. You don't have to do any of those. You can dismiss that. I could just click cancel here, but uh, I want to look at the other things here besides the calendar. So let's go over to the devices. This is where the camera uh, and microphone are. Now you saw it automatically found my camera, found my microphone, and set it up. That's because I've set it up before in the past. You may actually have to drop down here and set it and give permissions, but I think you can probably read the words and follow those directions. So I'm not going to step you through all that. Let's move over to the profile. Okay, the profile, I've already typed in my name and that's what people will see on the screen. I did not put in an email address because that's not important for me or for you or anybody else. Although, let me put it in here because I'm going to put in wired geezer at gmail.com. All right, and that way, that's where you can get a hold of me if you need it. So in here, you're going to put the name of a meeting. Now, I already have one set up, so let's go into it. The idea here is you want to give your meeting a unique name so that other people just don't stumble upon it. Whatever name you start up for your meeting, you want your friends to join you, you can just let them know, come join the meeting, here's the name, they go to this page, type it in, and they hit enter, and they will be there just like this. Right? You will see them in the upper right hand corner and down the side, and everybody can start. All right. Now, here are some caveats. At this point, there's probably little that you have to do. But let me give you some video tips. First of all, I'm set up right now on a desktop computer using the Chrome browser. No special requirements, but the desktop and Chrome is the most stable, simplest, and best way to hook up using Jitsi. If you try hooking up with your phone and going to that address, it's going to tell you probably to download the app. Well, go ahead, download it, install it. Once you do, you can go through the steps that I just went through right there on the app. Okay, so what else do you have to know? If I move my mouse down to the bottom, the uh, toolbar pops up. A few things that you need to know, okay, is the mute and unmute on the mic. If you leave the mic on, that's where everybody else who's in the meeting is going to hear your dog, it's going to hear your kid, it's going to hear your wife yelling at you, or your husband yelling, or if your speakers are too loud, it's going to start sounding like an echo chamber in the meeting. So the rule of thumb is you mute the mic when you're not talking. When you want to talk again, you unmute the mic. This will hang up, leave the meeting. This is a camera. If you're having a bad hair day, you just shut the camera off. All right. So we come back. Other things you can see here. There's a chat window. We can chat with folks. Okay. If it's amazing, you can raise your hand and talk.
That way you don't have to unmute your mic until you're called on. All right? You can even share your screen, which is sort of what I'm doing with you now. All right? Uh, we can... These... I, I don't even worry about these, okay? You know? These are all things we can do. These are all the bells and whistles. But for most of you, you're not going to worry about them. And I told you I'd get you online in under five minutes. Well, if you've been following along with me, you've already been online for a couple of minutes. And if you accidentally, which I don't think you did, if you had accidentally typed in the address that I have up here, and I was still doing this, you'd be in the meeting with me. Okay, so that's it. All right? You've got the app. You've got other things. You've got my email address, wiredgeezer at gmail.com. If you have a question, ask me. It doesn't have to be related to this. If you're a 12 o'clock flasher and you have a question, send it to me. You might be the subject of my next video. I won't make fun of you, but I will give you credit for sending me the question. So, have a good day, and get those devices set to something other than 12.